Hi, my name is Mike and I'm one of the co-founders of Gravitate Accounting and we offer outsourced finance director services. So one of the things that I notice is when people want a finance director, they don't actually know what they're looking for. So what I'm going to try and do in this video is trying to cut out what I think that a perfect finance director should have in terms of skill set and then we'll break those down one by one into detail. So often what I find is when somebody's going to hire, hire a finance director, they don't actually know what sort of skill set they should have, or they may have a finance director and they aren't sure if they're getting the most out of them. So in this video, I'm going to try and highlight five key areas that I think a good finance director should have. So the first one is presenting data, and you need to make sure that your finance director can present data effectively. So this is important because the finance director will be reporting on key financial data and what they need to be able to do is they need to be able to report on that data across several different departments and in doing so they need to be able to relay that information in a different way to each different area of the business that makes sense to them. So when we are talking about taking that information and, and relating it to different departments, I'm talking about being able to have that same information relate to the finance department, relay it to the operations department relate to the, the sales team department as well. Um, and when they can effectively relay that information and it makes sense to that department, you know that your finance director is really good at presenting data. But you have to be careful because not all finance directors can actually relay information in this way. It does take a certain type of skill set for a finance director to be able to take financial information and present it in different ways. What I find is a lot of finance directors will ultimately present the data in the exact same way and unfortunately, this doesn't have the right effect um, for the various different departments within your business. So one of the other skill sets that your finance director should possess is confidence. It sounds obvious, but what I'm specifically after here is confidence in delivering bad news. Um, if they don't have confidence delivering bad news, the audience will not listen to them, uh, they'll not trust their advice, and they won't take any action off the back of it. One of the pitfalls of delivering bad news and not being confident pre presenting it what often happens is that your audience won't trust or listen to what you're trying to say to them. So it's really key that you have the confidence in displaying this information. So a way in which a finance director can build the confidence within the business is they can build strong relationships with key stakeholders in the business. Uh, they must communicate well and they must be extremely thorough in the way that they present their data. If they can do all of those things, they'll build the trust within the business and when they are delivering bad news um, it won't be overlooked and people will listen and people will take action off the back of it. Another thing you really want your finance director to do is to be able to effectively add to your business strategy. What a good finance director does is they'll be looking at all the different areas in the business and they'll try to understand how each area and or department works. By doing this when they are in uh, strategy meetings what they can display is a really good understanding of the business. And again, within that board meeting, they can build that trust within the, the key stakeholders within there. So then when they are um, presenting their financial data and trying to add uh, to the strategy within those meetings, they can um, couple together their financial expertise. If your finance director doesn't understand the business and all their contribution within those board meetings are just around the finance side of things, they are not going to be able to effectively add to the business strategy. So building a team. So a finance director must have the ability to build and retain a well-functioning finance team. There are a few areas that they need to keep on top of in order to do this. So they need to ensure that they are always employing the right skill set into the team. They need to have the skill set in order to go out and to the market and locate these people. And then when they locate them, they need to have the ability to track them into your business. For the team that they've already got, they need to be able to make their current team feel valued. Plus they should be able to push their development as well. They should be looking at the current team as well and looking at the uh, possibilities of promotions as well. So not overlook people that are within their team that are doing great things. They should really be trying to um, promote retaining the team. So to try and keep consistent reporting. Um, so if there was any problems within the team and people left, that would cause significant problems and they wouldn't be able to report on a timely basis to the board. The finance director really needs to be leading their team. Their team needs to be looking up to them and that will help them to, to retain the team. This is really important because if a member of a team does leave, now the obvious one is to ensure that you're running the most modern finance function possible. So they should be looking to the market 
and looking at different pieces of technology that they could be using within your finance function and how that can gain more efficiencies within your team. One of the other reasons that you want a modern finance function is because you want to attract talent. So if you've got an outdated manual system, people just won't want to work for your business. So there's more reasons why you'd want a modern finance function other than just getting the efficiencies. We can also use the technology to increase accuracy. So it's ever so important to make sure that your finance function is as modern as possible. There are other ways in which a finance director can um, add to future proofing your business, which is to keep on top of law and regulations and compliance. So what they should be doing is they should be looking for this out in the market and they should be understanding it and they should also be able to relay this back to the key stakeholders so that they understand what this means for them and their business.